I have retinitis pigmentosa, which is a genetic disorder. I've been losing my sight since birth. If I'm in a completely new place, there's no way to know where I'm going on my own. There have been times when I would just be put somewhere, like maybe you know, in a room or just at a gate. Might have to wait over an hour for someone to assist you to get to where you need to go. Pretty degrading, huh? You just feel like you're not part of the society that can just stand up and go and do what they want to do. NAVCOG can change that. Juice bar is on your right. What we're working on is a turn-by-turn -turn assistive technology that we've developed at Carnegie Mellon University uh, starting in about 2014. And it helps to give people with visual impairment the ability to navigate in unfamiliar environments by presenting audio instructions at precisely the right moment, helping them to get from A to B. For years, I've gotten around with the assistance of my guide dog, Flirt. I love and depend on her dearly, but a guide dog is not a navigation system. So one of the biggest challenges for a person without sight is figuring out where they are. NavCog solves this problem by using Bluetooth beacons and other types of sensing to figure out where the user is, especially when GPS isn't reliable. A charging station is on your right. We put up hundreds of Bluetooth beacons at the airport, but then we realized that we can't do this everywhere around the world. We teamed up with Reality Labs and Meta and started using their Project ARIA research glasses to build a 3D map of the Pittsburgh International Airport. We used that map to train the AI localization models running on a mobile phone. The maps help the user figure out where they are without having to rely so heavily on external beacons. This is huge because it makes NAVCOG scalable. As we consider the future of augmented reality and wearable technologies, it's clear that these devices will have a profound impact on improving people's lives, giving us new ways to see and explore the world. Partnering with universities like CMU allows us to consider the value of these technologies and bring them close to people who might benefit from them most. When I first used NAVCOG, I felt liberated, I felt equal knowing that this tool is going to be out there and it's going to be bigger and better. It's just going to enhance you know, my mobility. You have arrived. And just let me live an everyday life.